Hello, and welcome to another edition of Torah in a Box, as we explore the Mishnayot in Seder Zroim, learning all about farming and the agricultural society in Eretz Yisrael. I'm not a farmer. I assume you're not a farmer. And even if you've got lots of grass on your lawn, you probably don't know what it's like to be a farmer. But let's imagine, for a minute or two, what's it like to be a farmer? Well, before I take in any of my crops, before I bring in any of my produce, there are halakot that I have to think about, halakot I have to worry about. And we're going to learn about four of those halakot today. The first halakot you have to think about is peya. Peya, literally meaning corner, says that I have to leave the corner of my field for poor people. I'm not allowed to take it. It's only for them. The next halakha is that of truma. Truma is a special gift given to the Kohen, the Kohanim. They are our representatives in the base of Mekdash, and so we show our appreciation by giving them some produce, giving them some crops, giving them either 140th, 50th, or 60th of what we have. The next thing we're going to deal with, number three, is truma, is Meiser Rishon. We did, we did Peya, we did Truma, and now Maeser Rishon is the big one. Maaser comes from the language of Eser, 10. We take 10% of our, what we have, of what we've brought in, and we give it to the Levium. This is basically all the money the Levium get, and the tribe of Levi, also for serving in the base of Migdash and for leading B'nai Yisrael, get 10% of our crops after we've taken Peya, after we've taken Truma. And finally, we take what's called Maeser Sheni. Now, Maeser Sheni is a little bit different because... Meiser Shani is not given to anyone. Meiser Shani you can actually keep for yourself, but you have to eat Meiser Shani in Yerushalayim, your Hakodesh, only in Jerusalem. And every three years or so, Meiser Shani is not something eaten in Yerushalayim, but Meiser Shani becomes a gift that you give to the poor people called Meiser Ani instead. You'll learn all about it in the guide, but imagine, if you will, if you had a bag of dum dums. If you bought a bag of dum dums before Purim, ended up not using them, and now you can't return them due to this uh, crisis that we're in, then what do you do with it? Imagine this is like farming. So, well, I've, I know that I have 300 pops in here, and so I'm going to take a little bit of paya, I'm not going to take all the pops, and then I'm, uh, then I'm going to take truma, and I'm going to take meiser, rishon, and meiser shani. So if I subtract a little bit of truma, and I subtract a little bit of meiser rishon, and meiser shani, how much do I have left? Well, for our math geniuses out there, you can figure it out. But... I'll bet that we never thought about how frequently and how much farmers had to do math. But in fact, they might be doing just as much math as some accountants. Who knows? Regardless, I hope you, this was a little bit of an insight into what it's, the world's like as a farmer, some of the halakhas we have to think about as we embark on our journey through Mishnah's Zerayim, through the process of bringing in produce, these four halakhot of Peah, Truma, Maeser Rishon, and Maeser Shani. Have a wonderful day.